In our previous video, we built a flat list query, which let us uh, select our user stories or our test cases from a specific iteration. And it gave us the results of all of our user stories or all of our test cases from that iteration, but it didn't include any of the relationships that a particular work item might have. For instance, it wouldn't have shown the user story and the associated tests, uh, tasks, or bugs that were directly related to it. Now, if we open up this user story, we can see that uh, even though they weren't shown, we can see that this user story is directly linked to quite a few different items. It's related to a document, so it's right now inside of a smart doc, and it's also related to a um, a couple review requests and a few responses. And it actually has some more, there's even some test cases under here. So maybe instead of this flat list query, we want to see a query that gives us that user story and all of its relationships. In order to do that, we'll have to go ahead and build a work items and direct links query. Now, this query is going to allow us to go ahead and set the same options we set in the flat list query here at the top. So we can go ahead and set uh, work items of a specific type or from a specific iteration, and we can show those at our top level. So we'll continue with the query that we built in our flat list, but then we want to apply some filters for our linked work items. This will allow us to specify what kind of linked work items we want to show under here. And what we'll do in a second is we'll go ahead and we'll show any test cases underneath these user stories in the results of the query. For right now, we'll go ahead and we'll simply run the query and let's see what we get. So we're getting the same user stories or test cases that are in iteration one, but we're also showing all of the different linked work items that are directly linked to this user story. So for instance, if we go ahead and we look at um, this user story 48187, we see that it has a few feedback requests uh, as well as a feature directly related to it. We can see that by opening up the user story and looking at any of the relationships that it has. So these are direct relationships. So anything that is directly related to this user story is being shown in our query. Now, what we said we wanted to do is we only want to show the test cases for these user stories. We can go ahead and we can collapse these user stories and we can see that we're still getting the same user stories. But let's go ahead and get our test, uh, test cases that are directly linked to this user story. And we do that by filtering the linked work items we want to see. So we're going to keep this one again. We're keeping the user story or test case from iteration one. And we want to see the linked work items that are of work item type test case. We can go ahead and simply run the query. And we see that only one of our user stories shows up. Now, the reason for this is this must mean that only one of our user stories from iteration one actually has test cases inside of it. If we wanted to go ahead and see work items that didn't have test cases, we could go ahead and only return the items that do not have matching links. So we can go ahead and click this, run the query, and we'll see all the user stories that don't have test cases under them. This may be a very helpful query for identifying where test cases need to show up. The equivalent to this is to use the intersection matrix, however. But let's go ahead and we'll look at the work item that did have matching links, and we can go ahead and we can see that single user story with test cases. Now we could go ahead and say that we only want um, work items that are user stories or test cases that are from iteration one who have test cases under them. And we could even go ahead and say that we want only test cases from a specific state. So the same logical grouping, as well as applying properties to filter out the items uh, that result from your query, apply to this link work items tab. So again, we can go ahead and filter these test cases out by their individual state. And if we did design, we would see the two work items that we have here. Now, that's how we build direct link queries and what they're used for. But if you wanted to build a query that shows something like your epics that have test cases related to them, 
you may be looking for a query that spans a few levels. It may go from epics to features to user stories to test cases. And to represent that, we'll have to get into our tree query, which is the third and last type of query in Azure DevOps.